Thank you for joining us this week on this week's devotion on the sermon series, Divine PPE, God's Got You Covered. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, that's not Pastor Jim, but I want you to know it's okay. Pastor Jim and I are really brothers of a different skin color. And in the words of Pastor Jim, it's all good. Amen. Okay, so let's get started. We will be ending this sermon series with prayer. Prayer is not described as a piece of armor so much as it is an essential part of spiritual warfare, but it is essential to winning spiritual battles. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, it says, Praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. When I first read the question of the study guide for this week, the question was, what was the first prayer you learned, who taught it to you, and what was the emphasis? Thinking back, I remembered the first prayer that I learned was the Lord's Prayer, and I learned it in Sunday school. Now, I didn't realize the significance of the Lord's Prayer, not until later on as I got older. Prayer is something to do with all perseverance. We do not pray once each day and then stop. We are to talk with God persistently and about all matters. There is nothing too big or too small to discuss with the Lord. I can tell you there have been times in my life when I felt that God wasn't listening and that I was going through all the things in my life by myself. One of the personal testimonies that I'd like to share with you was a time when I was in the Navy and I was trying to advance to the next pay grade. So in 2009, I was on board the USS Chafee and we were on deployment. Now, at the time, I was at E5 in the Navy with about 12 years in. And also during that time, if you didn't advance to the rank of B6 before your 14 year mark, you had to get out of the Navy. So one of the things I came across before I left on deployment, I saw a singer by the name of Jennifer Hudson on TV. And one of the ideas that I got from her was she had written down all her hopes and dreams and put it in her Bible as she prayed over it. So before we left, I went to the uniform shop and I bought an E6 patch for my uniform and I put it in my Bible and I prayed over it daily. You know, I prayed, Lord, please allow me to advance to the pay grade of E6 so that I could continue to serve and to take care of my family. Now, as the deployment started to end, the captain announced that there was going to be an award ceremony on the flight deck. My chief at the time told me, hey, OS2, make sure you're out there on the flight deck because you're going to get an award for deployment. I thought to myself, that's awesome that I'm being recognized for my hard work during deployment. As we stood out there, I heard all the names of the sailors being you know, awarded and, and congratulations and, and all that good stuff. But little did I know that I was going to be capped to the next pay grade. Now, during that time, the captain has the ability through a program called Command Advancement Program to advance two sailors to the next pay grade. And little did I know, I was one of those sailors. You can imagine my surprise when I was called up there and he had capped me to the pay grade of E6. I thought to myself, what a blessing it was to be advanced to the next pay grade, but also to know that God had answered my prayer. But it's also important to note that even in that moment, even if my prayer didn't get answered, that it's important to trust in God's timing. Now, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. The whole time I had been fighting against fear, doubt, and believing that it wouldn't happen. These are some of the things that the devil tries to throw at us because he knows how powerful prayer is. Jesus teaches us this prayer, not to just teach prayer, but also to teach us about his Father. His Father is the one who gives us our daily bread. He is the one who forgives us our sins. Not to take away of any of the petitions of the Lord's Prayer, but there is one specific petition that I would like to mention, and that is the sixth petition, which says, 
and lead us not into temptation. In this petition's meaning, we read that a well-known trio of enemies, the devil, the world, and our sinful nature. In the small catechism, Luther admits that this should be an expected part of our daily life. Although we are attacked by these things, and that our source of strength in such daily trials is God and the way he answers our prayers. This is the same God that let himself be tempted and suffered his own trial on the cross for us. He is the one who has defeated our spiritual enemies. Prayer connects us to the power of God and communication in battle. It is often the difference between victory and defeat. In alertness, we must remain clear-minded, looking out for the enemy, the devil, who seeks to destroy us. We resist him by focusing on staying firm in our faith and trusting God. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you will join us for our outdoor service at 8.30 a.m. by registering with the church office, or you can watch us live stream at 10 a.m. on YouTube or Facebook. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.